I'm... What the fuck, dude? You have to be shitting me. Dude, are you fucking my dick sack in the butt? Oh my god. Oh my god! Four extra cycles. That... I mean, I'm just fucking tired and it's late. That's mainly why I was saying I doubt this run will be good, but... Alright, took 35 minutes. But we got our first green split. Let's fucking go, dude! Yes! Oh my god, we clutched it! Finally, dude! Finally! Holy shit! Oh my god, I can't believe we clutched that, dude. Ugh. Oh. Basically, the last PB before this one was uh, November 2019. So it took me like four years since I started running Sunshine to get to a 119. That was like my long-term goal. I figured I was done with Sunshine at that point. I first of all thought that I wasn't going to be able to beat that PB even if I did continue. Because it's not like I quit right away. I was still doing runs for another month or so after. But I don't think I even got close to the PB. The PB from 2019 had insanely good RNG. And it had really good execution for me at the time. But that run was highly carried by RNG, honestly. It got good PD, got early cycle, perfect King Boo, good Pianta 1. Like, everything RNG-wise went well that run. So that was part of the reason, too, that I thought that I would probably just never beat that PB. Obviously, I stopped playing for two years after the PB um, in 2019. Stopped playing Sunshine in like January 2020 or so. For most of that time, I was speedrunning Mario 64. And then toward the end of 2021, I got kind of burnt out on Mario 64 since I came back at the beginning of this year. So I've been back for like two months now to Sunshine. Um, and I've done way more like actual practice instead of just doing runs all the time. And that's helped my improvement a lot. Like, I improved clearly way faster than I ever did before. Since I came back, I've actually already, before last night, I had like at least five or six runs toward the end that had PB potential. And I choked all of those. So it felt like I was like, you know, on the verge, obviously. Another point is that something that I'm probably going to reference both in the VOD and in general. A couple weeks ago, I had a god run. I had a run that was 56 seconds ahead of my PB after Rico, which is like very late in the run, like toward the end of the run. It felt like a run that I wasn't going to be able to replicate anytime soon. Like I thought that that was going to be my best pace ever for a long time, like to that point, because again, it was just such a good run overall and also had really good rng another thing is that sorry i have to explain all this because this is part of the reason that this pb was so crazy uh i noticed last week that my controller was actually starting to wear down like my sunshine controller it was fine for most of the past two months since i came back to the game but Starting last week, I started dropping spin inputs specifically left and right. And that's like, that's something that's extremely uh, controller dependent. Like if your stick wears down, I don't know if it's like the pod or what, like something like that. Your spin inputs are way more likely to drop even if you did them properly. Just because of how often I was dropping them all of a sudden when I hadn't dropped them very often at all for a while it made me realize that the controller was needed replacing. Since I ordered the new controller on Friday, I kept talking about how I really wanted to PB once before the new controller arrives, just so that I, cause I know I'm gonna have a little bit of a setback getting used to the new controller, breaking it in, etc. And it would be nice to just get the PB out of the way. On top of that, I had a coaching session with Sided Williams, AKA Sid on Saturday night. Um, and we worked on, it was like a two hour session or so. We worked on a bunch of stuff, but one of the main things was Mecha Bowser. And keep that in mind, cause that, that plays a fucking role here. Finally getting to last night, okay? Last night, 
I started stream. I did like an hour, hour and a half of practice. Started runs and runs were so shit, bro. I literally did not get past gelato more than one time for like two hours. I wasn't feeling it, obviously, with being stuck in early game for like three hours. I was like, there's there's no chance. I considered ending stream early even, but I was like, I'll just make a mini sub goal for a no reset run. And then, you know, maybe I'll at least get some late game practice if we if we manage to hit that mini sub goal. Shoutouts, my boy Deez, aka Tarkin Gaming. Uh, his Twitch name used to be Deez, now, now it's Tarkin. But he had a really funny moment last night where he sincerely asked me, why do you always choke in sunshine? Like that was a legitimate question that he asked. And he later clarified to be fair that he just meant like, well, why have you been resetting so often lately? But I just wanted to bring that up because he said, why do you always choke in sunshine? Well, I guess, I guess not always, dude. Let me pop my headphones on and let's actually finally get into it. Yeah, no, I mean, shout outs to D's and to fuck you because without them, I wouldn't have done their no reset. And then not only did the no reset help me prepare for the next run, it also kept the stream going to even allow the next run to happen. Thanks for the gift. Um, so not much to talk about so far. Uh, at this point, the beginning is like pretty fucking standard for me. Like I said, when when hack file is I a thing. I doubt that I'll be able to get a good run going at this point, but I will certainly try. Oh, chillin'. Oh, chillin' from last night. I mean, I'm just fucking tired and it's late. That's mainly why I was saying I doubt this run will be good. But <laughs> usually runs are a little better after I finish a run. Okay, that's the first bit of optimism I've heard from myself. The fifth best SMS runner from California. Let's go. That's pretty good. That okay. So this that right there probably cost me at least like three seconds. I'm not dead, thank God. That was so bad. <laughs> I normally would have reset a start like this. Maybe not. Actually, I probably this is like just at the cusp of what would normally be acceptable. I wasn't going to reset this anyway because it was the last run. Yeah, the fact that I got up to the roof period was like the first instance of, of this run getting really lucky. It's not the last. I feel like I really was carried by everyone else's faith, like chat's faith in me because I didn't have any faith in myself at this point. Again, this is like five, six hours into stream. I've had like four hours of mediocre runs, one no reset run that was okay for like 30 minutes and then went to shit. There was no indication that I was playing well. <laughs> so the good thing about these two splits being bad though is now I have time save on the first two splits. Beautiful. This early game definitely reflects what my attitude was at the time, which was why the fuck am I even doing this run? Oh yeah, because I got gifts. God damn it. Why did I accept that offer? <laughs> Another kind of crazy thing about this run, this might be the first PB I've ever had that had zero golds. Damn, another... Oh my god! What the fuck was that, though? Okay, like... That was actually the game being bullshit. I say, Mario just decided to be fucking allergic to the last coin. <laughs> Oh my god, no fucking reset. negative Nancy over here, dude. Pretty pretty mediocre start. Not terrible. Like I said, not quite reset worthy, but borderline. This, I think this ended up being close to gold. And I missed the coconut. So if I had like grabbed the coconut right away, this probably would have been a gold. I do remember this gelato skip being clean as fuck. Yeah, it was what, 0. 0.6 off gold? So, better coconut, that could have been gold. If I fucking PB this run... This is exactly where I realized that I might actually no still be able to PB, even at this hour at this of the night. I would get bad RNG again. Sick, bro. So, cool bad RNG here costs like 5 seconds, but I, uh, I feel like I messed up something here. Oh, this is what happened. <laughs> New movement. Wow. Okay. Nice pipe re-entry, bro. But yeah, uh, low-key, that's one of my biggest time saves 
in the entire run now, by the way, is that Pianta 1 losing like 12 seconds. <laughs> Standard Pianta 3. At this point, like, anytime I do mess up Pianta 3, I get mad because the strats I do are easy enough that I should realistically never mess them up. Um, yeah, let's see what the RNG is here. Not the, Again, this is like the least important RNG stage, but it does still matter. Okay, middle RNG, so I lost like a second RNG there. So yeah, I knew that if I got early cycle here, this run would actually be really sick, but I had my fucking doubts. But, and I, even though I got lucky with this guy. So this guy I actually got really lucky with because normally you have to wait for him a little bit. In retrospect, I'm really glad I didn't risk it. You know what? Maybe I should have talked to the third guy without bonking him. Shut up, Chelly. On the surface, yeah, almost really almost 30 seconds behind looks really bad, but... Seconds, and then if I lose more than 25, like if I lose 30 plus, then it's... It means I got fucking atrocious RNG. Yeah. Messed up really basically, bad basically what, what Chillin said. I thought for a second that I didn't unlock that one and I was about to be really mad. I'm surprised you didn't double check, bro. That was on you. 206? High 206? Pretty good. Please talk to me, dude. Guy's such a dick about talking to me. My practice PB is a 214, though, so I could definitely get at least a 212 or a 213 in a run, but... I wanted to run like this, where the execution was solid. I don't get early cycle, whatever. I'm still only 20 seconds behind, because then I can actually have a lead out of Pinna. And we'll see how that pans out. I fucking... I took my sweet fucking time there. I did that <laughs> honey skip work, so slow. If it doesn't, I'm going to be upset. I was doing balance for a while, but then I realized how much time save I have in Pinna. And so I, I started comparing to actual PB again for a while. Um, well, I we'll consistently see, like, started comparing to actual PB again. Gotta give a special shout out to Sided Williams. Sid taught me Mecha this week. And as you heard me saying on the VOD just now... The last two runs that I got to this point before this, I also got perfect mecha. And don't look now. Wow. That's a perfect mecha. Wait, is this going to gold even with the world's slowest honey skip? It's no, it's be not. Close. Actually, I think it barely misses gold well. Yeah, it's not gold at all, dumbass. It's hilarious. This might be the first green split of the run. Oh, wow. With a 16 second time save, you don't say? All right, took 35 minutes. It's fucked up. Why don't you show some goddamn enthusiasm, chillin' dude? Best run you've had in a week plus. So I'd like to point out, if you look at best split times at the bottom of the splits, that's compared to my best pace that I've ever had to this point of the run. Why am I getting side flips there? And obviously, the best pace that I'd ever had to this point of the run included early cycle. This run did not have early cycle, and it was only seven seconds behind my best run ever. Yes! Oh my god. Oh! Oh shit! Holy shit. The okay, one sec. Run, oh, shit. This run's actually sick now. It is actually the god run. Fuck you was right. I remember at the very beginning of the okay, run, okay, okay. after god like the, no, the, first, the first three splits, fuck you who had donated the gifts to make the run happen was like, oh, this is the god run. I was like, these first three splits suck, bro. This is, this is not the god run. But he was in fact right. All right, now this is one of the, one of many <laughs> extremely monka s Splits coming up. Okay, well that's okay. cool. I mean, good game. I feel like just good game. That to me. Okay, okay. Side step through. Okay, everything's all good. Don't be nervous. Don't mess this up. Don't be nervous. Oh shit! You can't spray him that low. What do you do now, chillin' dude? What are you gonna do? That angle's not gonna work. Why the fuck did you do that? Oh my god. This, like, if I die there, or if it doesn't get there, the run's literally dead. Well, like, there's, not saving there's no saving it. I cannot believe I saved that, dude. <laughs> I First of all, I can't believe that I choked it that hard. But the fact that I saved it after was actually insane. And that, trust me, that's the first of many moments like that. You'll see. Okay, look at this shit. That, so that... I just fucked up spin jumps twice in a row. I'd like to blame the controller, but I actually think that was more nerves. Nerves find their way in anyway. Like, I didn't give a shit about this run until, like, 
until like Pinna, I think. Yeah, the when first one was screamless. when I got the one cycle, specifically when I got the one cycle was when I got nervous. I think. I'm a, I'm like significantly God, I was... less nervous for this run than I was for that run, even though it, this run's only like ten seconds behind that run. Really. All right, shut up, chillin'. Spreeko is nothing special, but it's pretty solid. How am I feeling motivation-wise for SMS right now? Great. I mean, I just got a new controller, which I was complaining about for a week, and I just yeah, fucking got this run last night. So, wait till the moment happens. Once the moment happens, then I can I can talk about what I want to talk about right now. But I'll. I'll bite my tongue for now, no spoilers. All three of them have the same top speed if you just hold up. So there's literally no reason to use the other ones speed run wise. Oh wow. Since they're, you're a lot more likely to die on them, obviously. Wow, thanks Professor Chillin' Dude. How about you focus on the goddamn run, idiot? Start talking to my future self and potential PBs. I I think this is the first time I've watched a full PB back in my life. Okay, now this is the new God run. Officially replacing the previous. This is crazy. The fact, the fact that this is my best pace ever by eight seconds, and I did not get early cycle is fucking nuts. Talk to him, chillin' dude. That is fucking crazy. What the hell is happening? How is this run so good? You know, chillin' really well. I mean, I. It almost feels like he's just like a past version of myself. You know. Uh, this was a good start, and then I should have kept focusing on the left. Got worried about my water too early. Manta fucking sucks to pr any of the spam spray level. Well, there's only two spam spray. It's Manta and Serena Six, but they legitimately hurt your hand to practice, dude. Like you practice it more than like three or four times in a row, your fucking index finger starts fucking legitimately hurting. Right now, I'm 14 seconds ahead of my best pace ever. No early cycle. Oh yeah, so I was debating whether to go for like those spin jump dives. And then I was like, I'm not going to do this momentum spin. Watch this shit. Holy fucking shit. Bruh? Bruh? Alright, we good, we good, we good. Holy okay. shit. I just need to start going for the momentum spin. Alright, well, the moment still hasn't happened. Surely it couldn't be Serena 3. Surely I didn't lose 45 seconds on Banana Clip. It wasn't this. I would just like to say as a disclaimer, I have no fucking idea how that didn't work. That must have been like one fucking pixel outside of the, the spot that you're supposed to be because that was some fucking bullshit, bro. That looked fucking beautiful to me. And I was like, okay, keeping it going. Psych! And I think if my angle had been slightly better on the jump dive, that would have been fine too. Dude, what is happening? Oh my god, okay. To answer your question, chillin' dude, what's happening is you keep trying to wall jump early. And then you miss the wall jump input. And now you're doing just all kinds of weird shit. What's going on there? So Hole in one still though. That was 30 seconds by the way. <laughs> How did I- Alright. I would like everyone to just listen, okay? I'm going to I'm going to turn the sound up just a bit and then I'm going to I'm going to immediately turn it back down before I start yelling here. Listen to the spin input. Whatever. Did you guys hear that? That was a goddamn spin input. That was 100% the fault of my old controller, and if that shit had been the reason that I didn't PB, ooh, I would have been mad. I legitimately was crumbling right here. And if I didn't think to myself, maybe saying it out loud helped, but I was like, wait, I can still PB this. I need to forget about this right the fuck now and just play the game. Now it's like, if I get one extra cycle, it's going to be insanely hard. <clears throat> if I get two extra cycles, borderline dead. So bear in mind the past, I think the past three or four PB pace runs that I've had into King Boo have had minimum two extra cycles. Minimum. We just got to the split that is uh, the major time save. Another extremely monka s moment. Watch this. <gasps> okay. I was so convinced that when I went to pick up that pepper underneath him, after I fucked up the first pepper, that it would just cancel the cycle. And I would lose, like, you know, the run would basically be dead if... Because of where the second pepper ended up, like underneath him, like really, that. Really, really. Okay. 
So scary, dude. Okay, Fucking terrifying. Is this is actually kind of kind of nice that I fucked up King Boo that badly. Because I got perfect RNG, but I still lost like 15 seconds, which means I can get one extra cycle and still save time. <laughs> I get nervous if things go too well. That's why I made. That's why I lost 45 seconds in Serena 4. Like the run was going way too well. <laughs> if you think about this exact run. But yeah, basically without no the Serena yeah, 4 mistakes, that's a 118. That's why I love this new PB, because if I just fucking match the PB, it doesn't even have anything special RNG-wise. If I just match the PB and don't fuck up Serena 4, boom. So as you can see, best possible time, 119.23, and uh, I knew that I had like close to 20 seconds of time saving Corona. That basically means I have next to no time save for the rest of Noki. No golds is kind of nice. It means I have at least a tiny bit of time save on every single split. Where the fuck? I hovered so long okay, it's over there. because I always get confused here, but there's no reason for me to hover that much. Like, look, I actually lose time because <laughs> I had to float down to the shine. So I'm still, still like, you know, pretty close to PB, but five seconds behind and I know that my only significant time save at this point is Corona I was I was, back, you know, I, was I specifically remember holding back before I did that rollout and then I still bonked so that's cool at this point my best possible time is 119.42 I'm 12 seconds behind PB I don't have that much time save left but in my head, I'm like, I've been here before. I can do this. I know that it's possible. Just, Just fucking do it.
fucking go, dude! Yes! Oh my god, we clutched it! Finally, dude! Finally! Holy shit! Oh my god, I can't believe we clutched that, dude. Ugh. It's been over two years since my last PB. Obviously, I stopped playing for most of those two years, but I've been back to the game for like two months now. This shit was long overdue. I've had so many runs that should have been PB already. But we fucking got there, dude. Oh my god. This, I, like... Let's ignore the fact that with a good Serena 4, that would have been a 118, but... Holy shit, we did it. Gotta give a special shout out to Fuck You, who gifted six subs to make this run happen in the first place. Oh shit, another three from Fuck You, let's go. A lot of people called this somehow. I personally didn't believe, but you guys believed, and that's all we needed. Holy shit, dude.